All right, so long story short, Ram's going to show you a brand new TRX edition tomorrow, but you don't got to wait till tomorrow to figure out what's going to be in it because I can show it to you today. All right, so like I said, on Tuesday, June 7th at 9 a.m. Pacific time, so that's like noon for Eastern time, folks, Ram's gonna show this new Sandblast Edition TRX. Now, basically what it is, is gonna be a Mojave Sand colored TRX with a couple of changes to it. Kind of like how the launch edition was Anvil and had a serial color that's unique to the only model, and the initial edition has some uh, unique stitching, unique plaque, and unique you know carbon fiber trim. You can basically expect this is going to be similar things you're going to see on this new Mojave, well, not Mojave edition, but Sandblast edition, right? So over on the weekend, Ram accidentally put this new Sandblast edition on their website before the actual official announcement. So we have plenty of screen grabs to look over to show you there's nothing really that much special about this new edition. And I say nothing really special because one thing I'm really interested in, where is a Red Eye TRX, right? Because we know the Raptor R is coming. Would this new Sandblast Edition be a future Red Eye TRX? And from what I'm thinking, this would not be a Red Eye TRX. It's going to be just another regular TRX with another limited color that you can only get probably a thousand units of. Just like with the Initial Edition, there was about like a thousand Initial Edition units. I know some people are going to say, well, there was 875 Initial Editions. No, there was a thousand worldwide. They made 875 for the U.S., but they made like 100 for Canada. They made uh, they made another 25 to 50 for the Middle East market. I put the numbers on the screen, but you can see there was a thousand Initial Editions, just like with the Launch Editions. There was more than 702 Launch Editions. I put those numbers on the screen right here. I can pretty much figure that with this Mojave Edition, if you want this particular color, you better talk to your dealer. And make sure you find one that's not going to jack the price up because we already know that some of these deals are going to jack it up to like twenty, thirty thousand dollars more expensive. Looking at these screen grabs, we can pretty much tell exactly what's going to go on with this new edition. Now let's go look at the stereo. Now there's only going to be three main differences between this TRX and any other plain Jane TRX. Well, I don't know if you can call it TRX or plain Jane, but whatever. Now the first big difference is. If you look at the front skid plate, it is black. Every other T-Rex known to man, <laughs> not known to man, but every other T-Rex has a silver or gray tone front skid plate. Now this particular version has a black one. So this is the first time the T-Rex will get a black skid plate. So there are two ways that you can go about getting a black skid plate for your T-Rex, just in case you don't get this Mojave edition. The first thing you can do is just take your skid plate off and just get a powder coated black. That's the easy peasy way to do it. The second way a lot of people was doing was getting their skid plate from the Ram Rebel Knight Edition because that particular model came with a black skid plate. And if you did not know, the Ram T-Rex and the Ram Rebel shares the exact same skid plate. So, fun fact for you. Now, the second thing to notice on this T-Rex is different is the wheels. For this particular edition, you're going to get black B-Lock wheels. These are the exact same B-Lock wheels that you can normally order for an extra $2,000, but they're going to be just painted all black. It's pretty much like the same thing they did with the Ignition Edition where they took the same free wheel that you got and just machine polished the edge and then bam, there you go, a brand new exclusive wheel. But it's basically the same wheel that everyone gets. So nothing really exclusive other than they just painted the whole thing black. Now these are B-Lock capable wheels. You still gotta go to the Mopar shop to get the actual B-Lock um, disc in order to make them actually B-Lock ready. And the last major exterior option is you can see there is no more black stripe at the bottom of your TRX. Now, magically, all of a sudden, Ram finally got the picture that maybe if you just don't offer the black stripe at the bottom of the door, people might like it. But I just hate what this addition is now that you're forced to actually have that black stripe removed. Some people like the black stripe, some people don't like the black stripe. I've done photoshops in the past and I put it on the Facebook group and it's pretty much while a slight majority likes the black stripe, there's a lot of people who don't like the black stripe on their truck. And this was a problem that Ram was having last year where they didn't have this particular paint because 
If you didn't know, that paint on the bottom of your door is not the same thing as the black paint that they paint your T-Rex with. Those are two different paint codes. So Ram was running out of that paint at the bottom of your door last year. So that's why for like literally about, I think like six weeks, they had to paint only black T-Rexes because they didn't have that paint. And this is the same reason why early last year, pretty much all the Ram Rebels that you've seen at dealerships did not have that black stripe at the bottom because they was running out of that paint. I hope that when the 2023 order banks open up some sometime probably in the next few weeks, that there is an option to delete that stripe package at the bottom of your door. But I wish they would just give you the option to either have the stripe or not have the stripe. Now, I noticed that there are three things different, but it's actually a fourth thing different on the exterior. The only problem is I don't have a clear picture of it. Now, if you look on this first page, it does say that the TRX Edition exterior graphics would enhance its wide stance. So they're probably not going to be just straight black. They're probably going to be like a light sand color or like a dark gray color in order to make it kind of like stand out to be uh, a little different. You can kind of see in this shot right here that that graphic up top, it does not look exactly black as it normally does. It looks like a little dark grayish, like they kind of just took the tone down a little bit. That's probably what it's going to be. It's going to be this exclusive graphic that's going to be just be the same exact graphic that we're normally used to, just a lighter shade. Now we move to the interior. This is where you're gonna see a little bit more changes. Now the first change you're gonna see is the stitching. Everyone is used to either having the white stitching or the red stitching. And then with the Nissan edition, you had the orange stitching. So instead of orange stitching for the Nissan edition, for this sandblast edition, you're gonna have this, they say light frost stitching, but it looks basically like a light brown color stitching. So pretty much all the stitching you normally used to is gonna be light brown. And then on this center console lid where you got your normal, you know, uh, TRX badge, it's going to be basically sandblast edition with the light brown color and your Venom plaque. There's already a guy on YouTube who basically took video of it at the daggone um, plant. So if you want to check out that video, it's linked in the description if you want to actually see this vehicle in full living color before tomorrow's reveal. If you've seen the initial edition before, it's basically going to be like the exact same thing. It's just instead of having orange stitching or red stitching for like my T-Rex, for example, you're basically going to have just this, this light brown stitching on it. And then you're going to have like the silver accents instead of like a brown accent or like an orange accent. It's going to be a silver accent on your seats. As far as the carbon fiber, it looks like it's going to be kind of like a different. Oh, let me see if I can find a better photo of it. But I know in the video, if you pause the video, the other guy has you can kind of see there's like a little brown weave into the carbon fiber. So nothing really special on the interior other than you're just gonna have just different color stitching and you're gonna have the color, different color badge and different color carbon fiber. So with any additions that you get from the TRX, they're all gonna be loaded down pretty much the exact same way. You're not gonna have a choice of which you can and cannot put on other than maybe a handful of options. So you're gonna have standard on there like a level two TRX. You're gonna have a panoramic sunroof. You're gonna have the stitching. You're gonna have carbon fiber. You're gonna have the adaptive crew control. You have the lane keep assist, the pedestrian um, assistance, or the pedestrian emergency braking. And you're gonna have the um, the bed utility group. So that way you can get the Mopar step where you can step up on the side of your bed. All in all, the cost of this daggone edition is easily gonna be a hundred thousand dollars. Just because Ram's been jacking the price up like ten thousand dollars within one year just on the TRX. So this addition, where you, where you like this Mojave color or not, it's gonna be a hundred thousand dollar truck before you even check a single box or anything left for you to get. There really is nothing really much for you to check your box on because you're gonna get b locks. So that's $2,000 more they're gonna bake into the price. So like I said, a hundred thousand dollars before you pick anything else. Really the only thing you got left to pick is whether or not you want the, um, the tire car carrier, the Ram bar, or the tonneau cover. Uh, what else you got to pick? Um, the reverse steering control. And uh, let me see, is there anything else can you pick? The stickers are all standard, so you can't you know, select whether you want the stickers or not. So, and that's basically about it. Everything else should be pretty much fully loaded standard. And that's pretty much my problem with these additions. I mean, I don't like the fact that you have three additions in two years. So you have three exclusive colors but these exclusive colors are loaded down to be the most expensive versions of the truck. Like, what is the problem with releasing this color as just like its own limited color? That way, if I want 
or if I don't have the money to afford a full to load a hundred thousand dollar truck, at least I can maybe get a Mojave Sand base truck for around 80 grand, say $20,000. If you just look at the production numbers, now Ram doesn't like that we know all the production numbers, but we know every single truck that leaves out of that plant. We know every single option. We know every single color. If you look at the color breakdown of the TRX, the three most popular colors by far are black, granite, and white. Those three colors double or sometimes with a black triple more than every other color the TRX is offered. Like, there's only like a thousand silver. There's only like a thousand um, blue and there's only like a thousand red. That's pretty much around the same figures for the thousand initial editions. Why not offer another base color for the TRX? Because everyone seems to get it black, white or granite. Those are the three most popular colors. And if it's an issue for Ram to not have enough color to paint trucks, if you just say, hey, well, we'll just paint, you know, let's say we'll bring back subline green and we'll paint like a thousand T-Rexes and we'll paint like a few hundred Laramies and a few hundred daggone rebels and that'll be the end of it. You don't have to make them special additions. Why you gotta make them special additions? I mean, I think a subline green T-Rex with red interior, well not red interior because the base trucks has a red interior, but a subline green T-Rex with red stitching would be a cool looking truck, which I'm actually would, would love to have, but apparently anytime Ram offers a new color on the T-Rex has to be a limited edition. And thankfully Ram's not into the whole stupid power brokers where I can order it for only dealers who are known to jack the price up because the two power brokers near me, they're the ones asking 20 K over for T-Rex near me. At least Ram doesn't have the same nonsense of having to go to power brokers, but that's another story for another video. Like I said, tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific time, is Ram's gonna unveil this new TRX. It's not gonna be a red eye. I pretty much just gonna just assume it's gonna be just a regular 702 horsepower TRX because none of the pages said anything about it being more powerful or whatever. Um, I haven't heard anyone saying anything about a red eye TRX being made. I know Ram had a couple of mules out there that have EPA test pipes on it that I talked about in other videos. So they have other vehicles out there that are testing them with different power plants. I don't believe this is gonna be that vehicle. And plus that vehicle that I saw uh, Mule of was red. And this is obviously not a red truck. This is a Mojave Sam vehicle. If there will be a red eye TRX, it's not gonna be it. Because Ram will at least do some kind of like several videos trying to tease a more lethal predator and that's pretty much it for this video. So like I said, this new Mojave edition or Sandblast edition or wherever they want to call this, well, Sandblast edition coming tomorrow. Now it says it's a 2022. So I mean, technically they have enough time to get it out because the order banks don't close until August. Well, not the order banks, but 2022 production don't close until August. So I have a tough time thinking that they're going to just turn out like a thousand TRXs of this particular color and they're so far behind in production because they're supposed to make around 100, 150 TRXs a day and they can barely average 80 a day TRXs. So, I mean, are they gonna roll some people over to 2023 because they gotta get this new addition that they're trying to throw out at the last minute or the summertime, which you probably not gonna see until the fall anyway. So we'll find out. These photos are clearly for 2022 TRX because if you look at the dash, they don't have a digital instrument cluster. They had like the regular 2022 dash. I guess you can say this will be a 2022 edition. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't just make for a 2023 model year, but we'll see. We only got but like 24 hours to find out. So until the next video, I'm out.